What's up YouTube and welcome back to some more Tracks the Train Set game. Big shout out to the publisher for sending me not only a free copy of the game, but the newest DLC, which is the Sci-Fi Pack, which comes with a couple more achievements for us to go grab, so that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be getting all of the achievements in Tracks the Train Set game's Sci-Fi DLC. So let's hop right in. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure you go to level select and make sure that you have selected the moon and we're going to be doing this on free play, but you want to make sure that you select the moon before heading in. So the first achievement we're going to get is colonization, which requires us to place 50 unique items on the moon. So I'm just going to go through the entire menu here of buildings and decorations and so on and put down 50 different ones until my achievement pops. Next up, we're going to get the achievement a reference. First, we need to activate alternate mode by pressing left on our D-pad. This is going to allow us to place objects in the sky. Now we need to find the bike in the menu, and then we're going to need to find an alien to put inside of the basket of the bike. This is obviously a reference to ET, and if you don't actually get the achievement by doing this, you might have to put the bike a little bit higher in the sky first. Next up is the achievement 1969, which requires us to recreate the moon landing. So we need to put down a lunar lander, as well as a flag and two astronauts, which can be found in the menus as well. And then we're going to need to put down a camera and actually take a picture of the entire scene. I couldn't for the life of me rotate the astronauts to actually look towards the camera, but it doesn't really matter at all. So the final thing that we need to do here is find the camera in the menus here, and then we're going to place it and you want to make sure that it's far enough away that you actually get a picture of the entire scene, and you also want to make sure that you rotate it so that it's actually facing the entire scene that you're trying to get a picture of. Then just put your cursor on top of it so that there's this green bubble, press the A button, and you will take a picture. Our last two achievements have to do with actually using the train. So the first one here is for Rocket Man, which requires us to jump in the sky for 10 seconds while on the moon. And what we're going to do here is we're going to grab a bunch of corkscrew pieces and just build them on top of each other. Just keep stacking them. I think I stack like 15 to 20 of them here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up the starting location at the top of this corkscrew reset our train so that it spawns up here and then we're just going to drive it off the edge. We will get the achievement before going off the edge but I'm going to show you the entire jump anyways just so that you see it is for 10 seconds.
For our final achievement, we're going to go ahead and clear the track. And what we need to do is we need to transport some aliens from a UFO crash site to a train station. But obviously, we have to build all of that. So the first thing that you want to do is build a normal track, a couple pieces going forward, a turn, and then a couple more pieces so that we have enough space to add all of those other elements that we need to build. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab a regular size station from here and we're going to put it at the end of our track and make sure that it's facing the right way. Next we're going to grab a platform and we're going to put it at this end of the track and once again make sure it's actually facing the right way. Now in the menu we want to search UFO and we're going to have two choices. We can either choose just the UFO or we can choose the crashed UFO and we need to choose the crashed UFO and we're going to place it just to the right of the platform and then we're going to find a bunch of aliens to put in between the two. But first I want to start setting up my train. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the train menu with my back button like we've been doing and we're going to go ahead and start a new restart point right here just so that I have enough space although actually I have plenty of space here and we're going to reset the train and add some passenger carts as well and then I'm just going to reset that starting point again so that it's back at the platform. Now with our track all set up, we want to search up the aliens. And there are two different alien types that you can use. It doesn't matter. You can use a combination of the two if you want. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. But I'm just going to place down like five of them here right next to the UFO crash site. And you want to make sure that there's this green line here that shows that they are actually going to go from the UFO crash site to the platform. They will then hop on your train. Then you want to just take control of the train by pressing the back button and drive them to the other end and drop them off at the train station. So there you go, that is 5 achievements, 500 gamer score here in Tracks the Train Set Games Sci-Fi Pack DLC. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you. If it did, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more achievements, trophies, and collectible guides. Also feel free to check out my Fortnite challenge guides if you're into that game. And until tomorrow, ta-ra.